Hello Cancer, this is your reading for April 2019. This is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. If you guys are new, welcome. Please like, share, subscribe, comment. Let's see. Thank you guys for coming. Let's see what messages we have for Cancer and Love. For April 2019, we're going to do a Celtic cross, guys, <clears throat> with the cards face down. Cancer. Mm, one more. Cancer. Okay, the energy that's around you is challenging you. The underlying issue here. recent past, best possible outcome there, what's coming in for you guys, let's see, how are you currently feeling about this situation, mm, that one, and that one, I'm going to put these right here, reason I'm feeling that's like going with that. Let's see your hopes or fears. This is your influence if I didn't say that. It's early so I can't really remember. <laughs> hopes or fears. And the overall outcome right there. Alright guys. So let's see what's going on for you guys this month in April. So I'm going to run you currently. Is a three of wands here? Aries energy. Hmm. I'm feeling that you guys have planted a seed. Um, you you've sent out some nonverbal communication that you're ready to receive something here. Okay. I'm thinking that you know this is all about you guys wanting a new start, wanting to start over feeling very passionate about something um, and um, you know this new start is something that you guys I feel like it's been a long time coming okay what's challenging you is a five of wands here um, maybe there's a need for you guys to travel somewhere to communicate to someone um, about something that you want to do here okay I'm feeling like this is all about you um, really kind of deciding you know how to go about getting what it is that you want here okay this is all about you know getting to the the happiness and stability within your home that um, you're seeking okay so your challenge I feel is to figure out how to acquire how to acquire what it is that you know you want okay so you can kind of like settle into it because I'm getting that you guys are feeling a kind of um, not really unnerved, but unsure. I feel like there's a lot that you're trying to figure out right now, okay? So the underlying issue is the full, again, Aries energy. Um, I'm feeling that there's definitely, you want to start over. You want to start over. It's like you, you feel fearless um, surrounding this decision that nothing can stop you and nothing can change your mind here okay how you're viewing this situation is the ace of wands you guys have a lot of activity going on this month um, I'm feeling some excitement okay that's definitely all about starting over having new ideas um, being able to communicate effectively um, you know doing the things necessary to you know just make this start happen make this thing happen that you have in your head this idea that you have about how to um, how to obtain uh, certain things in your life so that you can be happy and stable you know just obtaining your own personal happiness okay I don't get that this is is about a relationship it may be but I'm thinking this is like a, a personal endeavor for you guys here okay now in the recent past we have the four of Pentacles okay so this may have everything to do with finances okay starting a new business venture 
trying to figure out how you can grow um, your business because maybe funds have been tight with the Four of Pentacles energy here, okay? But I see that you guys are very resourceful. I see that you know how to, um, you know how to get the money, but it's like you're, you're wanting to do more. You're wanting to obtain more. So I feel a lot of you guys are actually saving, okay? Saving your money, um, spending your money wisely. I feel that there is also an energy here of somebody that's been very argumentative and challenging with you guys. Somebody I feel like that has been um, in the past, you know, trying to not really share their time with you. Okay. That energy, I feel like you guys are over that. Okay. If you're not willing to put in the time and effort, then, you know, what's the point? And I feel you guys moving on here. I feel like you, you're doing something else. But I also get that this same person that's been holding back is still holding on to the fact that they want you guys to come towards them. They're waiting on you. Okay? Stubborn energy there, I feel. Capricorn energy. Let's see the best possible outcome here is the Knight of Pentacles. Okay? You guys really not being too hasty. Really not being too hasty as far as a financial endeavor. Okay, um, kind of like strategizing, uh, figuring out your next move here. It's all about your stability, I feel. Okay, and not just jumping into things here. Okay, taking the time to actually really, um, you know, think about things and not really getting ahead of yourself as far as um, a financial situation or any situation for that matter. Okay, I don't see any swords here. I just see pinnacles and um, wands here. So you guys are very active this month, but I think there's, you know, probably this, you need to take some time to rest. I'm feeling you guys need to take some time to really um, rest and think about what it is that you want to do. Get a plan together here. Get a plan together about how you're going to um, acquire what it is that you're trying to in this area, okay? Now what's coming in for you guys here is a Knight of Wands energy. I feel that there's somebody coming in um, that wants to communicate something to you, that wants to start over with you guys, that you probably won't see coming. Um, you probably know of this individual, but I don't really get that you are expecting this individual. Okay, I think that they are definitely on your mind, but I don't think that you devote too much time and energy to um, concentrating on whoever this individual is. Uh, Aries, another Aries like yourself, not Aries like yourself, my gosh, could definitely be an Aries individual, but um, could also be Leo Sagittarius as well. Okay, some of you guys may have Aries in your chart for sure. Okay, now let's see. The outside influence here is the Ten of Wands. There's a lot that you guys are doing, and I feel like you're determined to do this. But again, this person is needing to share some burden, to actually lay down some, some things, delegate here, okay? Because you are tired, but you're feeling like you can continue to do this. You're determined to do this. Okay, you're determined to make it. You're determined to to have um, this this massive change in your life here with this full energy. Okay, that Sagittarian energy there. Let's see what else is going. That's what I'm talking about. Now you have the world. Okay, you you guys are definitely wrapping up a cycle. There's something you've learned here. You guys have accomplished a lot. I feel. Okay. I also get that you guys are not willing to, um, to to carry everything on your shoulders as far as relationships anymore. I think that's done and over with. I think you've done that for way too long. And I think you've learned your lesson around that. Okay. You'll carry what you need to carry here. You'll carry what you need to carry. 
to do to, to acquire what you want to acquire but you're not willing to carry other people's shit it's a thing so you definitely learned a lesson here you wrapped up a cycle um, you've accomplished something and um, the bottom line is you guys are starting over okay you are right in alignment you are like progressing okay now your hopes or fears is a six of swords you want to be able to move on you definitely want to be able to move on here okay there's been a lot that I feel like um, has held you guys back for a while okay and I'm getting that you're tired of thinking about stuff you just want to go now you know you feel like you've been in your thoughts for way too long it's time to move out of that energy and move forward okay and I'm feeling that you're letting your intuition guide you you've experienced a lot of hurt here and you feel it's time to think about yourself okay the overall outcome here is a knight of swords definitely moving forward definitely um, progressing here because now we're coming out with whatever we need to say okay we're not holding back anymore this Knight of Swords is, is progressing and it's progressing um, rapidly okay being able to communicate effectively about the things that they want about what they're not going to do the things that they will do establishing boundaries that is what the Knight of Swords is the Knight of Swords does not hold back. And I definitely feel you guys um, progressing in the month of April. There, there's a lot that you guys are um, doing. And I feel like a lot of you are probably starting businesses. A lot of you are probably getting into um, thinking about connections or getting into connections with people. I definitely get that there's somebody here that's wanting to carry some of the burden with you. Okay, and if they do, I'm feeling that you'll be able to communicate, you know, just what you need from this this individual, from a connection, um, from a financial situation, even. Okay, so again, we have Aquarius, Taurus, um, Sagittarius, we have Leo, Scorpio here as well. Aries is definitely here, uh, and Capricorn. All right, guys. So that's what I have for you, and I'll be speaking with you guys soon.